Hey y'all, this is Anna Alexander. Welcome back to my bedroom as I am returning to the Wah! of Black Sails Season 2, Episode 6, Chapter 14, if you will. And we had an episode where a lot was happening, but the story wasn't moving, but things, things are going down. Where to begin? Jack had to portray Anne, so he claims, for now in order to secure his captaincy on the ship. I can't remember the ship's name. We had John <laughs> trying to figure out what the hell Billy's planning on doing and how that will either help John in his quest or hinder him on his quest. We had Guthrie Sr. going to Eleanor trying to make a plan to get her to back the farmers and whatnot instead of the pirates. Meanwhile, the fort's getting bombarded. <laughs> but then we had the reveal of what really went down of how Flint, how McGraw, I should say, became Flint. And it was a surprise, not a surprise for me. Maybe it's because I write triad relationship novels. I've read them. I can, when they're done well, I really enjoy them. And I know some people call them thruples. I don't like the word thruple. I like triad better. So... Episode one, two, three, I, right away, I had a suspicion that the relationship between Miranda and, and Flint and Thomas was a consensual three-way relationship. So that reveal wasn't, oh my gosh, so out of the realms. It's like, oh yeah, I could totally see it. Also, I'm sorry, H have you seen Flint? Man is what is what was a John Mayer word? Sexual name pop. The man is sex on a stick. And then he got Thomas Hamilton, who is charming as hell. His little blonde hair and his little cute smile. How could they not hook up? How could they not hook up? It was gonna happen. But the depth of love that he had for him was not not nice. But we see that with the book and the ho ho ho. And I should have saved him and not listened to you. He shouted, not shouted. He said it very, actually, yeah, it was opposite of a shout. It was very deep and wounding. It was mm, from the gut. I should not have listened to you and gone to save him. That was nice to see. But now they have word that a trusted ally's daughter is in danger. Oh, oh, and Vane. Out of nowhere, stabby, stabby, fighty, fighty. That's where we left off. That is where we left off. Okay, okay, okay. So I am ready to get to it and I'm so glad that you are all here with me as well. So if you want to, you can watch this whole thing with me on Patreon where you push play at the same time and you can hear me ooh and ah and on my motor ticks go off. It's great fun. Uh, my citrus beverage of the day is a sparkling strawberry lemonade. I don't know how citrusy it is, but it's delicious. Let me know what you're drinking. I would like to know. Uh, but if you're ready, I'm ready and let's get to it. Oh, and also thank you all for helping me straighten out that Guthrie was not Thompson, the governor at the time. that McGraw was there because their stories sounded very, very similar with a wife dying, no son. I was getting it confused in my head. Cause like, I thought they said their name was Thompson. So thank you. Oh, that's right. Cause Eleanor cleared out the bar. So there's really nobody in the building. I think they'd still be a barmaid or a barkeep or somebody. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Can't avoid it any longer. It's time you made a choice. Enough. You two will resolve this. This isn't going to end the way you wanted to. This yeah. ends in this room right now. Obviously. Sit down. There is a girl in your possession. Give her to me and I will stand on my men. You can have the fort. Oh, he's gonna go this route? You'd give all this up for a little money. She's worth more to me than money. She's the future of this place. 
Oh, that's a way to phrase it to get Eleanor's ears to perk right up, isn't it? We're through the Twin Pass and well into the zone, on schedule. He's just enjoying being back on a ship. Did you hear it? No women. <laughs> In any event, according to the hall, the true north should be here. According to the hall, the ship is insured up, down, and sideways. Oh, wow. Netting the men, a quick painless score, and you, auspicious debut. That is a now, quick and painless score. Or not How the do you... information proves accurate. Let's count how many times he can say a whore in a, this next few seconds. Heard Captain Vane was a sailor among you. It's nothing to be ashamed of. <laughs> it's a question. If you're a company that heavily insures your ships and then they get easily picked off, how long can you keep insured? You would think the insurance company would go, mm -mm, Make your heading west, you're too west to interceptor. Sharpen up on the braces and strike the mainsail and foresail. Today! I want him to succeed, but I don't, because he's not doing good things. <laughs> but I still kind of want him to succeed. Blame him. Thing is that you just opened a pursuit and steering us in the wrong direction. Ah. Though I suppose there's a chance you struck the sails to make us nimbler. Come up right behind her and steal her wind. Hmm. Sail! Second set! Oh. Oh, who, who's also after this? Or is it another competitor? We have competition, let's see. <laughs> oh, Scrooge on the beach. I'll be back in an hour. Anyone else will take your shit. Your shit's for an hour. I do. Mm. He's gonna go get his whistle wetted. So either I'm going up there, Charlotte, or I'm taking you down here, imagining I'm taking Charlotte up there. First item of the day. So-and-so went up and released all of our secrets. Oh, no, someone who should remain unnamed <laughs> visited the whorehouse when they weren't supposed to and revealed all of our secrets. At a certain point, I'll cease to care what his ends are and lead these men up that hill myself. Okay. I don't think that's going to be an option anytime soon. What did he see? <gasps> Here comes Billy. She did not go far. If I return her to him unharmed, I believe that I can win him as an ally to argue for a reconciliation with England where we keep our assets, maintain control, and name a governor of her own choosing. How long has it been since they left England in this? Five years, 10 years? If that man chose to be our advocate, I would certainly argue well for our prospects. What do I get? <laughs> yeah. What do you get? You get what we all get, a future. Show it to me. Hand me my future here in this room. Yeah, that is how Vane operates. If we cannot agree to do this together, then I walk out of here and I lead my men in cutting down what remains of yours. And you would risk a death just to punish me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Pay me what she's worth. And what exactly do you estimate that to be? One Spanish man of war. You know where to find me to deliver your response. So Vane then gets two ships? Because I take it a trade of ships is not what he's asking for. So if I was Flint, I would take... Gotta kill Vane. Gotta take him out. He's a fly in the ointment. What are you doing? Crew of the Eagle was recruiting by the beach. Anne Bonny showed up, looking to join. Oh. Quartermaster tells her if Jack Rackham's got no appetite for her and his crew, they for fucking certain don't either. And then she cut them. 
She grabbed a marling spike and planted it in his jaw. She... Yeah, she did. You are afraid she would come here and attempt to harm me? Everyone's heard what happened. Jack had a choice. Pay you or keep her. He chose you. Oh yeah, this word got around, didn't it? How would you feel if the one man you thought would never betray you did? She's not mad. She's pissed off. She is adrift. Assume your appeal to Lord Ash is persuasive when he has to make the case to Parliament, yes? But while he's trying to persuade them that they are reasonable men among the pirates of NASA, no one will be listening. Because in the next room, the ambassador to the court of King Philip of Spain will be shaking his fists with rage, screaming about how these same reasonable men just stole five million Spanish dollars from the king's treasury. Well, right now, the gold's just on shore. As it takes months for information to get anywhere, right now, for all Spain knows, the gold's on the bottom of the ocean, right? As long as that ship goes missing, right? I am guaranteeing the terms of this deal. If you prevent any further attack on the fort, I will bring the girl down from the hill and deliver her to you. Will you fulfill your end of this bargain? Yes or no? How is he gonna sail Abigail to the Carolinas if he gives up his ship? He's not giving up the jacket, we know that. <laughs> Meanwhile... Do you recognize it? No. Not on our side, crew. Mm-hmm. Captain Jack Rackham of the Colonial Dawn. Never heard of you. Well, perhaps you should get out more. <laughs> Don't know about you, but this doesn't seem like a hall worth dying over to me. Yeah, what's three? You leave, Jack. Reasonable men agree. The first thing I remember is being in the hold of that ship, shackled. I saw the garrison on Arbor Island. 200 men. The Navy is, this moment, 40 miles away from where you stand. Mm, that's not good. Is that true, though? Is that true? We're all relieved beyond words as you're here, but the question on all of our minds in this moment is, how do you end up in the water in the first place? Oh, yeah, he just wants to get right to it. Do you remember what happened on the bow of the walrus that night? I'm not going anywhere. Abigail doesn't know you. I would assume your plan would work best if she were cooperative in it, if she felt safe. There's no better way to ensure that than having me be part of it. For how long? I don't know. Oh, I think she does. Figuring this out as we go? I think she's going to be right by that girl's side until they get to Carolina. Captain. There's been a predicament. There's been a development. That's the word, development. <laughs> There's been a development down there too. Oh, poor Anne. <laughs> she is adrift. You've got news you're going to give it to Anne. I'm looking for Max. I'm really not supposed to get him to talk. You're going to play games with me? What did he say to you? He wouldn't say. But he's coming back later tonight. Tonight? I don't think he is. I can go get it. I'm just being careful. Wait! I can't find my belt anywhere. You know who I am. I sure shit know who you are. Please don't. God damn it, Charlotte. Where the fuck is the bomb? Dude. Dude. You want me to believe you won't betray your men? All men betray when it suits him. 
Well, she's gonna kill him regardless. You won't fucking touch me. You know who my captain is. Who the f are you? Some skinny little cunt without a crew. Oh, goodbye, Logan. Goodbye. <laughs> goodbye, Logan. Well, we shouldn't victim blame. Well, I was going to say we shouldn't victim blame, but Logan, you should not have gone up there. They would have avoided all of this. However, and you are not helping your cause. First day is captain, is it? What makes you say that? A few looks from your men, your banner. What's the matter with the banner? What's new? Lightly travel. Oh, he should have grinched up a smidge. This is supposed to be a joke. You get the tobacco and sugar and I get what? Blankets, pots and pans. Had we come to blows over this prize, there's no doubt my men would have won it all. I'm offering you a meaningful share. I think blows are still going to come. There's a tension. I know we have the advantage here. I see your numbers. I can see you. Did Billy say what happened? Oh, the, the editing in this episode is maddening. It is maddening. So he lost his footing and he fell. He said, you tried to save him. And how did the crew react to hearing her? Stunned surprise, I would say. Before the captain gets here, there are some things I would like to discuss in private. Too late. Too late. <laughs> Too late. <laughs> It's good to have you back again. Captain! Oh, Flint's got a lot of fires going right now. Perhaps now that you are here, we might at long last reclaim my fort. <laughs> oh, she's dying to tell. dangerous the consequences promised to be and I think you knew that before you took up the knife I think I know why you did it I think it had to do with something entirely different and I understand so I will not let those consequences touch you for reals Max I will stand in between you and them and I will protect you So, Max, is, does she see Anne as a, another tool in her arsenal? Or is she really caring for her? Because with Max, it's hard to say. I know she's cared for people, but I think she's so battle-scarred now with being betrayed herself. I don't know if she sees Anne as a kindred spirit. Or everybody is potential to be used. You know what I'm saying? What I'm saying? Consider this notice and relay to whom you must. Tonight I will call council and submit myself as captain of this combined crew. Ooh. I intend to lead the men in retaking the fort, as promised. I intend to hold Charles Vane to account, as promised. And then I intend to sail for the Urca Gold. So I can see Flint saying, go ahead. <laughs> no one that is probably good at... Good chances that horny gold be struck down. And the ransom we are going to demand for her is going to be fucking enormous. More than money. More than land. Legitimacy. Hmm. Well, that's an interesting way to describe giving Abigail back. And the moment they ratify our control over this place, no more fighting, no more leads. 
I'm talking about making money the way London makes money. Colonization. <laughs> I still think they hunt it. They just put a prettier name on it. England's return isn't inevitable. England has no more appetite for taking this place back today than they did yesterday. Oh, so apparently he doesn't know about the fort 40 miles away. It is inhabited by too many men like me. Men who would die before being another man's slave again. Side with me, and we will show England that this place has never been stronger. And we'll keep our freedom for another day, another month, another year, a lifetime. Do you believe me? She gonna stab him in the back. In the ribs. Why should we take it? What? I suppose you could challenge him to fight him man to man, but I think we can both agree that's not going to end well for anyone. At the end of the day, our men can count. Most of them can count. And they know that. You know. They know what? What? That they chose you as a captain to get access to the horse leads. If they're honest with themselves, they can't really expect you to be able to do anything about this. They'll vote me off before we return to Nassau. I cannot lose it. Not so soon, not like this. So what's Jack's little cunning brain gonna come up with? Where the the original? Oh, they're up there. The original crew. You're right. This is likely the most reasonable distribution given our relative strengths. Except. For what little comfort it may provide right now, I believe you made the right decision. Men will see the wisdom. Oh, he acted quickly then. <laughs> Okay, Jack, did you really think this through? Or did he get a... Just gonna wait for him to bleed out? Is that his plan? You did, what did you learn from Vane? He had to have picked up some sort of fighting tactic from Vane. He had to have, right? 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 Or he's waiting for him to bleed out. Uh huh. He's gone away for him to bleed out. Wait! I'd hope to find an outcome amenable to both crews. This man was unable to see any outcome that saw a single member of this prize crew to survive. I like how he's acting with like a broken jaw. I can only hope our new brothers will join us in the fight for their own survival. Mr. Haynes, remove their restraints, please. That's a good one. He's going to arm them. There is a man amongst this crew who can sit down with me at this table and speak reasonably to reach a resolution more favorable. In light, of course, of the overwhelming odds now in our favor. Let's start this again, shall we? <laughs> you have heard on supporting Captain Flint. I've heard. Hmm. Flint was right. England is coming. We aren't criminals to them. We aren't even men. If Flint can do as he's promised, protect this place, how can we do anything but support him? And if he cannot? I didn't escape. <gasps> oh. The captain of Scarborough made me an offer. <gasps> the Scarborough going after the gold? He offered me and nine men at my choosing full pardons. In exchange, I would aid him in the capture of a fugitive from justice. One 
particular fugitive. Will this be John? If we doubt, he's the man to save us. And we deliver him to Harbour Island. So it's House of Flint? Hmm. Fugitive. We put this whole fucking mess behind us. Well, Pumpkin, I don't think they would let you live once you brought him to Harbour Island. What were the numbers of the last count? So you have at least a half dozen votes over Captain Hornigold at the moment? A margin of 20 would help matters. Don't stop moving until you have. There is one particular vote I'm having some trouble with. Whose vote is that? Mine. <laughs> so what happens if we win the vote and the girl isn't delivered in a timely fashion? How long do we wait for the situation to resolve itself? The gold is still a priority. There's been no change in that. You have my word. Well, yeah, because John doesn't give a shit about NASA getting its legitimacy. He wants the cash. He's like, Vane, give it to me tangible goods now. Where's the madam? Excuse me, but I'm going to need your help. Hello? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Things have happened since you were gone, John. Mr. Logan, I don't believe he's here. And he's not in trouble. That could change quickly if certain people were to learn he's here. So please, send him down. That look should be a clue, John. My crewmates were expressly forbidden from entering this place. And I imagine you can guess it's because there's information those men are privy to that we just as soon not have plied out to them by your girls. Now my armorer is dead on your floor and I'm forced to wonder if those two things aren't related. How exactly did you plan on covering this up? Something about them falling in love or running away together. That's as far as I've got. <laughs> wow. Wow. He went to Providence. I'm willing to risk dying in a bloody fight to retake the fort. He and his love fled together. I heard he has a brother in Providence. Not surprised that's where he went. Are you following? Yes. Good. If he or any of the men in his crew were to learn about it, my life would get significantly more complicated. Aren't you one of the men on his crew? Clean this up. Please. John is a crew of one. But I do find it fascinating how, if you think about it, him and Flint are the same. They both have single-minded focus of one thing. Oh, geez, Eleanor. John's just happens to be financial security. Whatever it takes to get financial security, he will do. And I also love how Flint's intentionally training John to be a pirate captain. This isn't going to work, Eleanor. You are not going to get far. Here we go. My name is Eleanor. You are no longer a hostage. You are a prisoner of war, essentially. They're not gonna get far. Mm -mm. What I'm finding fascinating is that in theory, there is a sense of urgency. We've got to get back in the water. We've got to get to the goal before the Spanish come and collect it. And yet there's just bullshit after bullshit after bullshit of people and skirmishes and strategies that keep shifting on a dime. My God, if I was Flint, I was like, raise it down. You're all in timeout. I'm the dad. <laughs> I will take control. Just let me do my thing. <laughs> yeah, speaking of urgency, how months? It would be months, right? For Flint to sail to Carolina, somehow convince Ash of the plans, Ash just somehow good. Yes, this will benefit me. How? Because there's got to be something in for Ash to make the journey to England again months. Not a hundred percent guaranteed you will make that journey. However long it takes him to do whatever, how long it takes him to do in Parliament, and then that word to get back to Nassau. Now, as we see, word on the island goes pretty quickly, but this. 
I love how they talk about friends tell me this and this and that. And that's information that is months old. So in the meantime, when all that is happening, the Spanish is still collecting the gold. We saw how much comes and goes in a day on this island. Who lives, who dies? Quickity quick. Jack's already out and killing other pirate captains. And it's been a day. So I get the plan. I just don't have any hope for the plan. And I totally forgot that John wouldn't care at all about Abigail and Peter and Parliament and whatnot. He wants the cash. And so Billy's working an angle too. I don't think horny gold is long for the world. There's so many plates spinning in the air. Which one crashes? <laughs> I don't think Eleanor is going to get very far in this plan of freeing the girl. She frees the girl and Vane's going to go insane. Insane. Okay. <laughs> she should just nip that relationship in the bud. I don't know how. I don't know how, but it's not. It's also not long for this world. <laughs> there we go. Episode 14, technically. Chapter 14, done. Thank you so much for being with me and for showing me things that I've missed and explaining things and laying things out because there's so much going on. I am losing track. And you've all been great and polite when you have done so, and I greatly appreciate it. So until we see, meet each other again, this is your reminder to stand up. And also, if you haven't, go eat something substantial some protein remember toast toast is magical and then come back and watch the next video in the queue so thanks again y'all and until next time